skinny Australian souvenir. Yeah. Oh. I think you need to stay kind of next to it. Yeah. Nice job, Bijou. That was it. That would be your friend of circle. Yeah, that's it. You the struggle was real. <laughs> Man, that was nice. <laughs> Coach, you did it. That was like, awesome. <laughs> what else you got? What else you got? What else you got? Yeah, <laughs> Coach, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, are you so good at this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smoking. <laughs> at the exit. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, greetings. We are gonna make a uh, like a PVC tube thing to help with uh, front hip circles, back hip circles. Um, and probably other things too. So let's just go over the parts. Uh, first thing we're gonna need is like some, some 90 degree connectors like that. And uh, you can see it. That's part number two by two by one and a half. So that's two by two on the outside, one and a half here. Okay. Then we're gonna get some corners, some 90, 90 degree corners. We need two of them, and that's the. Uh, this is a little easier to read. That's one and a half. Okay, and then we're gonna need some way to connect the two together. So we'll need to use some primer. And uh, then we're gonna use some. Oops, sorry. Let's get that camera out of the way. There, sorry. Ah, hate that. So some primer. Then we have our um, PVC cement. That's what we're gonna use today. Extra strength. And then over here, we have the pipe. I'm gonna need a. This is schedule 40. Right, one and a half inch. PVC, and this is going to be the. This is going to take the main load of the athlete's weight, and we're going to wrap around that one and a half inch or two inch schedule 40 PVC. And this is a 280 psi. Uh, the um, the one and a half inch is 300 psi. All right, so let's tr let's uh, let's have at it. So I got something interesting. Pardon my voice breaking up. I'm a little uh, sick right now. Um, <clears throat> so I got some got some data, got some field data. We tested this, and it works great. The problem is this: <laughs> if I just followed the uh, you know suggestion on how to build it, I wouldn't have this issue. But anyway, this is two inches, two inches by one and a half, right? This will work great if you have a men's single bar that's for not men's I'm sorry the one the, the bar that, that that most men will um, compete on you know this gender stuff is kind of interesting nowadays but the, it'll slide into this perfectly on the other hand the bar that most women compete on this needs to be just a one-eighth of an inch a little bit th thicker for it to slide in and it's because the little knobs they look like they are like um, rivets on the uh, women's bar, the bar that most women compete on. It just creates a little bit of a bump, and I can't get past this, right? So, follow the previous design. This will work if you just have a single rail, right? Now, here is a three inch, three inch, three inch by one inch. I, this is massive. It looks like I'm compensating for something, right? And, um, this will work for all bars because, well, simply put, there's, it's pretty wide. And um, so you can use this instead of that. So just build it the same way. Put this 
here instead of that and then you'll have a, a very flexible setup now what that does now that changes a lot of things like the displacement from here to here I'm gonna have you're gonna have to change that a lot so for instance um, the uh, we did you know you'll see we're gonna cut this here to let's see uh, what's that maybe like six and a half inches right uh we're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna shave off a whole like uh i'm gonna make this five inches this piece of pipe right here because when you slide this through that's gonna bump up to there and now uh, that's gonna come down so the the bar will actually be more like that so change this from six and a half inches to to five inches if you're gonna use um that bigger three um three inch diameter. Actually I don't even think five is actually good. No, I would do uh maybe four and a half. Yeah, because this thing is very different in size. Yeah, three, four. Um uh, that's three, that's two, so it's one inch extra down. So it would take an inch off of that. That makes you five and a yeah. I five inches is perfect. Yeah, so this pipe here is going to be five inches, and just replace that, and um, everything else is the same. All right. All right, so we're going to try to get this uh, dimensions right. Let's you know, let's see what we can do, right? Um, so over here, I kind of drew this um, design a little, so we can talk about the size. Oh, okay, all right. Listen, I know it looks like Picasso and like a medical doctor. Are came together and gave birth to my artwork. So, anyway, let's see what we can do. I'm sure you can understand, consider it a gesture drawing. All right, so we know that uh, the piece itself, this L, is uh, three and a half inches. We want the overall length to be 32 inches. Right? So, what we need to do is just um, calculate what's gonna happen with uh, the actual part that is um, how far the pipe goes in, right? So this right here is uh, 12 sixteenths of an inch from here to here. That's, uh, and it seems to be universal on both sides. So that's how far recessed the pipe goes on both these. Okay. So <coughs> we know that the overall height between here and here, we want from this point to this point to be five and a half inches. I'm kind of like not sure about that. It looks a little small. I think you're going to have to figure out what that's going to look like for your students. So we'll put it together, and uh, if it doesn't look right, then we'll uh, we'll have to do something else, uh, try a different size. So how are we going to get this dimensions right? So if we know if it's 32 from the outside, right, we need to take three and a half, add it together, we get six inches. That's the sum of this, these two, and then we know that from here to here and here to here is. 12 sixteenths, so that's going to be um, one and eight. One that's going to be uh, one and a half. Yeah, one and a half or one and eight sixteenths without the reduction, and that's the sum of the space here. And then we're going to have to take the one and a half and subtract it from six, which is the sum of these two, which gives us. Uh, four and eight sixteenths or four and a half inches so we have four and a half inches uh that's going to be uh consumed by the the that that gap the 12 sixteenths gap and the um so the sum of three and a half this is going to be um four and a half i mean well two and a quarter added together and um to get to 32 that means right we're gonna have to do something like this you see, 12 sixteenths, three and a half, add them up together, so add these together, subtract it from this three and a half, three and a half, which is uh, four and a half. That means we need to get four and a half from 32 inches, which will give us 27, 27 and, and uh, 27 and a half. So that's 27 and a half inches we're going to have to cut for the inside pipe. And... Um, yeah. Okay. So now the pipe that goes 
here in between that and that I'm gonna say let's do six inches and see what that looks like we'll dry fit it together before we glue it down and see if that that that, that works better and then um, the only thing left to do is uh, we'll we'll know that um, <clears throat> Since we know that the pipe itself is 27 and a half inches, and we have one and a half, we're gonna have to subtract um, one and a half inches from the tw 27. So that's gonna give us um, uh, um, <coughs> 26 inches for the spinner. Now we're gonna need a little bit more room just to make sure it spins properly. So we're gonna do. Uh, Let's do like 25 inches for the larger pipe that wraps around that pipe. All right, so those are the dimensions. That's what we're gonna do. Let's have at it. Sorry, it was a little pedantic, but you can hang. Well, another thing. Uh, again, you really gotta like, there's no way to easily test this without actually building it and trying it to see like what your average size student is going to be and how it fits their bodies inside of this. Um, so you're going to have to find one that's going to be disposable or not. Uh, again, I, I would say, you know, if you're going to use this setup with uh, the three inch, three inch, one and a half out here, uh, you're going to have to, I would suggest using four, uh, four and a half or five inch on this pipe. If you're not going to do that, and this is just going to slide onto the, uh, the metal bar, then, uh, the six and a half inch would work here. I would say six is actually better. I think it's just a little bit too big for the kids. All right, so we got a 27.5 inches here. So that's pretty big, isn't it? Right, let's give this a good old cut. like my life so this kind of feels right so let's think about it right we have uh, from this the bar itself will probably right around here is where it'll start so it'll be bottom out right there and then we'll come down we got to fit ourselves a little friend in between there now Here's the question, is that enough? What do you think? So I'm looking at eight and a half inches from the bar to the bottom of that. And I don't know if that's enough. Okay, well, we'll give it a try, see what happens. Okay, so if that's eight and a half, right, this needs to be um, hmm, six and a half inches. All right, fair enough. Let's do it. We're gonna do uh, six and a half inches right there. So we want to make this six and a half inches, and well, that's gonna be fun to try to hold that. Let's see. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. So six and a half like that. Give that a cut. We're gonna have to do a gang cut. A gang cut means we're trying to get the same dimensions over and over and over again. So I'm gonna set up the machine to replicate the same dimensions. Since we know that we want to get six and a half inches here, right? Um, yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, well, true as in that side is true, uh, as in flat. So we're in at six and a half, right? We want to set this up so it is going to give us six and a half inches every time. Let's just see what we look, what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna cut on the six and a half a little bit after. Yeah, we'll be right there. So what we we'll do is just take slider block in. Just kind of this just kind of blocks us and keeps us in the same dimension over and over again. Yeah, it looks good. You ready? All right, great. I think you are. Let's do it. I noticed something about safety with the, this one. Point this out. Always tuck your, your thumb under 
like this. I just became aware of that recently. I'm going to pass it on. Sometimes people go like that and they just, you know, you can only imagine. All right. So. Okay. So here we go. We have a gang cut. They're both the same size. All right. Oh man, this plastic stuff. Ugh. It's beginning to smell like Proposition 65. Let's get this little bit of a dry fit. So we've got, so we have our long piece here. I'll at the bottom. The bottom here. Turn the both of these down. This in the middle. Put this in the middle. What do you think? You like it? Think it'll work? Do you like the dimensions? I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. So you can see what's happening, right? Is uh, the bar will go across right here that it sits on. Something like that. Alright, yeah, I think we're gonna do with that. Leave it at that. That's uh, all right. That's the final dimensions, and now we're gonna really make it smell like Proposition 65. All right, so we got all our pieces just kind of like sit in. These things dry fast, so I don't really have a lot of time to. Uh... Yeah, let me just go ahead and stop the video. That's good. I need to. I almost forgot. I need to make sure we get a, a, a spinner on top of this, right? We need the dimensions for that. So. Yeah, dry fit that together. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, that's 26. Cool. Just like I said. So we're going to do, we'll do 25 and a half. I don't want to have too much exposed because I'm concerned about... Uh, you know, skin being pinched. So we'll do 26 and a half for this spinner. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, I'm sorry. Did I say 26 and a half? No. 25 and a half. Yeah. So we're going to get a 25 and a half on the spinner tube. That looks like right here. I've got your safety glasses. I'm going to do 25 and a half right here. See, I didn't do the, the thumb thing. You're going to want to keep your thumb tucked under. Okay, so it's 25 and a half. All right, let's try fit this again. See what we get. Yeah, I don't know my own strength, do I? I want to make sure you get as much of this stuff out of the night. It's like a plumber's nightmare having this like stuff. It's still a part of your project. Well, anyway, so let's slide that in. Yeah. So the winner. Yep. Perfect. So that's it. I like it. All right. Now let's assemble this together, shall we? Um, no, by myself, without your help. Yeah. Okay. So first thing we're going to use this primer, purple primer. Right, and uh, 
Uh, warning, this stuff will stain your clothes. So, what I'm thinking we'll do, since we've never, I've never done this before, make sure you have a rag, clean out the surface and all that plastic shaving. Then we should just put one side in like this. Did. Okay. And then we do the same on this here. Oh, this is no, this is so bad. This is very toxic. Mm. I start I start singing hymns. Something's not right. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Here's our contact cement. So I should be able to just like that go all around like this. This thing dries fast. Slide that in. Thirty seconds. So that's it. Okay. Now this. I was thinking of greasing this. I don't think I need to. I'm like overbuilding it, but whatever. Okay. Let's do this one on this side. I don't know if I should pour that back in or not. I don't know if it's, it's considered contaminated at that point, but you know what? Make sure you at least open a open your window and have a fan blowing because this this is really bad. Um, I am gonna get some form of cancer in a timeline long enough, but this is just this just expedites it. <coughs> Put our contact cement in here. This is important to get right because the uh, this has to sit flat on the other side. Yeah. So make sure you push. Push it in and sit it flat so it matches the other side. So I'm pushing down against the uh, plywood. Okay, so that's that, right? And next, we have these two here. these so, like that let's just do this side while we're at it Let's see if this makes sense, the workflow that is. So slide those in. They don't matter because they don't need to be squared off or anything. The tops need to be squared off. So here we go. Ready? Right. Let's push 
push it in and hold it. That's perfect. Hold it there, you know. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so with that being said, what do we have here? We have this top part here. Right, so this is important that these these need to be flat. Climb this. I would not recommend you do this without a uh, like gloves or, or without proper ventilation. This is, again, really, 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 really caustic. You can tell. Again, if I start singing hymns, you know what's going on, right? I'm losing my mind. Okay, here we go. There we go. Uh, is that a good hymn? Okay, um. Let's see. I think there's some PVC on that. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta get this flat. Yeah. Just like that. So I'm a little paranoid about space, not having the right space. Alright. Feels better. Let's do it. down. Yeah. See that on both sides there? Yeah. Should have put that on. Glued that on. Okay. Well, it's too late. It's still flat. All right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean by the workflow? I should have put this, dry fitted this on separately, so that way. It would have been flat against the surface. Let's close these off. Looks like we did it. What do you think? Think it'll work? Yeah? No? Alright, well. I hope it works. Put this to the bar. It spins. Yeah? It slides through. Alright, I think we got ourselves a winner. Alright, so hey, listen. That's it. Uh, I want to know what you felt. Sorry, I don't really care. Never mind. More like interested in you being a nice person, sharing your ideas of how we can make this better. Um, we all have a lot of feelings. 
Some of them are not so valid. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, you, if you can, like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Share it with your other uh, gymnastics friends. Hope that this video was useful to you. And uh, go ahead and uh, let people know that you uh, saw this video and showed you how to do it in detail. All right. Other than that, I'll see you next video. Don't forget to uh, thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. Click the notification button so you can uh, know when I'm doing other great and interest interesting things. Other than that, don't forget to comment below. It really helps the algorithms help other people find this. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Vajayo. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. <clears throat> anyway, um, a little bit of silicone spray. What do you think? Is going to make a difference? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Just curious. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. Oh, that's pretty amazing, huh? Yeah! Alright, dark fellas. We've got ourselves something. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain.